What's good y'all? How y'all doing man? Welcome back to another video man. Today I'm finna talk to y'all about the things you could be doing to push yourself forward for the next new promos and everything that's coming out this week. If you guys are interested in buying coins, go to my sponsor and use code HOUSE for 3% off to get your coins. If you just can't make them or you're having a hard time making coins, go ahead and check out the sponsor man. They will get you right. Today is Monday. Tomorrow we got Team of the Week. Wednesday we're gonna be getting Wild Card Wednesday. Thursday, we got LTDs. Friday, we have nothing so far, which that could potentially be Team Diamonds. And Saturday, we have Legends. That is what we're going to be talking about today is how you guys are going to be able to get yourself ready, put yourself in position to make coins. But before we do that, we have to go ahead and talk about what happened this weekend in the NFL. So let's go ahead and tap into the games and talk about that. So off the rip, let's talk about the Giants and Washington. Listen, I did not expect Washington to, to come out with this W, but hey, things happen, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I, I, I know people are going to be like, well, Dexter Lawrence made a mistake and all that kind of stuff, but there's so many different variables that you can't necessarily just blame that one player. But moving on to the Raiders and the Steelers, I'm going to be honest, bro. Big Ben, it's it's time for a new era in Pittsburgh. Y'all got to get, get, get this man. He's just not... I don't think he's really there like he was three, four years ago. You know what I'm saying? I think that you got to bring somebody fresh in there. You got to work with them. You have so much talent on that roster, and you're not able to utilize it like it should be. You got to be taking more risk. You got to be putting these players in a position to make plays and stuff like that. Eagles versus the 49ers. I thought the Eagles was going to come out here and get the dub, but you know what I'm saying? Things happen. You feel me? 49ers is just obviously the better team. We'll put it that way. I didn't get a chance to watch that entire game, but we'll just put it that way. They might be the better team. Who, who knows? Browns versus the Texans. Now, I'll be honest. I know Tyrod Taylor got hurt. I don't even know who came in at quarterback, to be honest. But I still didn't think the Browns were going to lose to the Texans. I think that the, the high-power, high-octane defense that Cleveland has, there's not very many teams that are going to be able to really compete with the Browns, especially if they get ahead with that running game and they just consistently keep pounding them. The Browns have a good, good chance of winning the AFC, in my opinion. But, hey, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But let's go ahead and talk about the Broncos and the Jaguars. Teddy is going crazy. A lot of people think that Trevor is a bust. He could be. He could not be. Let's see, man. I think he got some talent on that roster that, you know, he got more talent than a lot of other quarterbacks out there. So I think he he has to start making some shake. It's obviously Jacksonville. I don't know what's going on in the water. Maybe they need to start doing something different. You know what I'm saying? It's just not working. But Teddy's doing his thing on Denver, so can't hate on him. Saints versus Panthers. Man, I just did not expect to see Jameis go out like this. But to his defense, man, at the end of the day, I think it's, a, it's you know, offense is one of those things that it has to be well-rounded all the way around. You feel me? Like, everybody has to work as a unit. And I just think that they still got work to do. They still got to mesh that entire offense to, to put Jameis in comfortable situations and stuff like that. You, they was going against CMC, who's absolutely crazy. So at the end of the day, that's a tough matchup. But they're going to get back to the drawing board, and they're going to get right, in my opinion. Rams versus Colts. I like what Carson Wentz is doing. I thought Carson Wentz was going to go over there and get him absolutely nothing. But he playing his heart out. Can't even lie. Carson Wentz is playing his heart out. The Rams are the Rams. You feel me? That defense is solid from the D-line to DBs to, to everything, bro. And I like the offense. The offense, the Rams are a scary, scary, scary team. You know, I, I just believe that they're one of the better teams as far as talent up and down the roster. You know, they don't got a lot of big names. Well, they do got big names, but they got a lot of players who make plays, you know. And at almost every position, there's players who make plays. So the Rams, they're going to be tough. You know what I'm saying? It's still the beginning of the season. As things start to mesh up, these rookies get, get adapted to the environment. <sighs> Good luck trying to beat the Rams, right? Buffalo and uh, Miami. I don't. I think Tua got hurt, came out of the game, and I have no idea what they're gonna do next. But Patriots versus Jets. Honestly, that boy threw four picks. Now even even him throwing four picks, we only put up twenty five points though. You know what I'm saying? So us only putting up twenty five points, him throwing four picks, he had an opportunity. Not even gonna lie to you. Like for for the Jets to only lose by nineteen. And Zach threw four interceptions. I mean, that's still an opportunity. So I'm not saying people saying like Zach is a bust. Some of the throws he was making, I think it's just the fear. You know what I'm saying? It's the fear of being put down, getting sacked, you know what I'm saying? Getting hit. And especially against the Patriots defense, they do a lot of like uh, spying, not spying, but like disguising their coverages and stuff like that. So it's a tough defense to play against. Four picks. 
hey, man, if it was if you was going to throw four picks to anybody, you might as well throw it to New England. I can't even lie. And that's not even me being biased because they're going to get theirs regardless because that defense is, is, is insane. So we got Cincinnati versus Chicago. Justin Fields got his opportunity. He went crazy. He didn't go crazy, but he did what he had to do. He got the dub. You feel me? So it's like there's not much we can complain about. You know what I'm saying? Justin Fields came in. Andy Dalton got hurt. Andy, it's okay. Just, just chalk it up, bro. Chalk it up. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no. It, it, you, you, they went out and drafted that man for a reason. Chalk it up, bro. It's okay. We still, we still rock with you. You know what I'm saying? We know you can still ball, but just chalk it up, man. Falcons versus the Buccaneers. <sighs> TB12. What more can we say? TB12. What more can we say? That's it. There's nothing else to say. They might go undefeated. They just might. They just might, bro. The way that they doing teams, they just might, man. I can't even lie to you. Vikings versus Cardinals. Woo! Kyler Murray, Kyler Murray, Kyler Murray. Can we put some respect on Kyler Murray and that defense that he has? It's absolutely crazy. They just got to really lock up. If that defense could lock up and hold teams to 7, 14 points, the Cardinals are going to be almost unstoppable. The Seahawks just play weird offense, bro. It's, they, they, they do weird stuff. Like, the play callers are just weird, bro. It's times where... They up two possessions, and they out here trying to trying to destroy a team, sling the rock down the field. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's times where they need to be clocking the, the, the ball. You feel me? They need to be running a rock, and they're not running the rock. They're looking for deep plays. They're looking for cover two beaters. They're looking for uh, contested throws to DK Metcalf and stuff like that. And it's like, bro, you're selling your, you're selling your entire organization. Because I think the Seahawks had that game in a bag easily. They gave that up to Tennessee. No lie. That's, that's just my opinion. Cowboys versus the Chargers. The Chargers got hold. That's all I'm going to say. They got hold. Chiefs versus Ravens, man. The best game in the, this week. The best game this week, bro. That was the best display of football this week. Uh, Lamar was down, and he showed fight. I think the Baltimore defense capitalized when Mahomes made a mistake. Bottom line. It's third down. It's third in like, tw what, 15, 16, something like that. And he threw that interception. If he just held onto the ball, took the sack, punt the ball, they might not even score right there. My mans did fumble. That's a fact. I get it. But I always say that football is not from one play. There are a lot of plays that happen that players don't, that fans don't really remember and they don't see. And that was one of those times. They were up two possessions. And if he doesn't throw that pick and he goes ahead, punts the ball, that gives Lamar, a, it's a harder obstacle to score when they're a run-heavy offense. You feel what I'm saying? So with that being said, we got the Lions and Packers up. It's going to be a very intense game to see what happens tonight. And we're going to see, you know, man, hopefully everything is good. Hopefully these games are, are, are continuing to be, you know, fire games that we all expect. But let's get into the Madden content and let's talk about the game. Team of the week is coming. There hasn't been no announcements as far as I'm making this video. The announcements will be out by the time this video is out. We don't know who's coming out with Team of the Week, so we're not going to talk about Team of the Week. We're going to talk about Team Diamonds and how you guys can get ahead. So first and foremost, you need to get ahead with your gold cards of the teams that you would like to have. Golds and silvers. There's going to be very few silvers, but there won't be. I don't think it's, I don't even think it'll be silvers in there. I think it'll be a bunch of golds. So whatever team you guys are looking forward to, whatever theme team you're running and you want this player, stack up on those gold cards. Stack up on those elite cards. You feel me? Especially the gold cards because the gold cards will tremendously increase in price and that's going to be an opportunity for people who want to grind to make coins you feel me if in all reality if let's just say the chargers get a crazy car like he's 1000 coins right now right but if he's a rare gold card to come across he's going to shoot up to like 20,000 coins if they do this the set that they did like last year and if the card is valid, if it's a good card, some of these cards are going to shoot up in price. I'm talking about 10x in price. You're going to be paying 10K for gold cards. So you do want to get ahead of the game if you if you want to build those players and not have to worry about like, oh, man, I don't want to spend 30K on a gold card. It's going to give us so many opportunities to make coins because people who like to grind, open up, get a player packs, you'll have an opportunity to get these cards out of get a player packs or build them from get a player packs. And then you make coins that way. The market is going to go absolutely insane when a team dim diamonds drop. And I don't know how they're going to drop. They could be 89s. They could be 90s. I think they might do uh, a healthy balance of 88s, 89s, and 90s like they did last year. And then the master is going to be like 93 to 94. And I think that would be a solid balance. It's probably going to be about 32 cards to go into the set. The master is probably going to be crazy. I would like to see um, a nice master like uh, a Lawrence Taylor would be a solid master. 
I would even like to see a Randy Moss as a master, 93, 94 overall master, but I'm tired of seeing master receivers. So I would like to see like a master Lawrence Taylor or a master like safety or something, you know what I'm saying? Free safety, strong safety, or a crazy corner like Night Train Lane that got this crazy hit power. So like something interesting as the master would make the game so much more fun, but we'll see. I mean, the only thing we could do is get ahead of the curve and that's how you're, the, the way you're gonna get ahead is opening up, get a player packs, uh, doing things that's gonna get you these cards at very low cost. And I'm telling you ahead of time, so when the when the sets come out, you guys will have most of the cards for the sets and you'll be able to make crazy profit. <laughs>